Hello there everyone, I am your German snob and I'm here with another let's play. Now this new project of mine is called To The Moon. To The Moon is a RPG Maker project that came out a bit earlier this year. It has garnered a sort of cult following that is in my opinion very deserved, even though it was made in RPG Maker and looks very much like the kind of game you would find on the Super Nintendo. It is really less of an RPG and more of a adventure game. That of course means that it's not really all that gameplay driven and really more, well, story driven actually. It very much lives by its writing. But in that respect, at least as far as I've seen it, it should be really fantastic. Now I myself have never played this game, so this is going to be a blind let's play. I've played the beginning, which would be like the first uh, 30 minutes, maybe a bit longer. So the story of this game will come to me as, as much as a surprise as it will be to you. So let's not waste any more time and dive right into this game. Let's begin. Well, that went well. You know, everyone does. Ah, uh, good question. Well, why don't we explain the premise of this game first? So this game is about two scientists who work for a company with a rather odd sort of job. What they do is grant dying people their last wishes. That they do by implanting memories into their brain. It's a fairly science, fi science fiction-y story. Really what it reminds me most of would be the movie Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind with, um, with Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet. Even though that one was about deleting memories, but well, you know, never mind. The tone is, in my opinion, as far as I've played it, uh, somewhat similar. Whatever, let's get the equipment. Alright, now I will try to keep my commentary, at least during dialogue, as unintrusive as possible. This is a very story-driven and very dialogue-heavy game, so I don't really want to ruin the mood for you. So, okay. Now, as you can see, the game starts off pretty light-hearted, fairly, well, fairly humorous even. Though, as for what I've heard about this game, it takes a turn to the more tragic, to the more melancholy later on. Yeah, who would do such a thing? Nah, we can't do that. Why don't we try to push it by hand first? <laughs> mm. 
Well, that was easier than expected. Indeed we will. Let's get going. We have to get to the customer's house. Uh, by the way, as you can probably tell why this game uses fairly minimalistic resources, I think it does fairly nicely with what it has. I mean, in my opinion, the atmosphere is all very nice. It all looks very naturalistic and creates a very nice atmosphere. Though what definitely helps is that the music in this game is nothing short of beautiful. I think you can tell so by now. Now as far as I know, the creator of this game, Mr. Ken Gao, was that his name? I think it was something like that, is also a composer. And that really shows. This game has beautiful music. In fact, one of the best soundtracks I might have ever heard. So I really appreciate that. Now here we are. Oh, indeed not. A nice little mansion at the seaside. <laughs> I hope I'm not clicking away the dialogue too fast. Um, really hope you can keep up with this. I mean, I would voice act it out loud, but I trust you all to be able to read it for yourself. Now, every household should have coffee. And thus begins the first act of this game, as it will tell us in a few seconds. Yep, right now. Okay, so let's see what's inside the house. And you would be right. That's tasteless. Sarah and Tommy, all right. Now, while it would be tempting to go and explore the house first, we will have plenty of time to do so later on. For now, let's follow the game's story, get the equipment, and then head upstairs to our patient's room. Yep. <coughs> Ah, uh, they remind me of my younger sisters. Mm. 
And that's, that's what I meant when I said that the music is beautiful. I think it alone makes the game almost worth playing. Mm-hmm. You could say they are. <laughs> well, it's only a small Metroid. So let's enter the patient's room. I think we are all eagerly awaiting to see how this whole implanting memory thing works. Let's do it. Well, why wouldn't it be? Very tasteful. That's the deal. That's a good attitude to have. <laughs> the knee? Mm -hmm, that's the title of the game. So, we are apparently dealing with a rather reclusive person. Okay. So, apparently we need some insight into the man's life to implant the memory correctly. So here we can choose our player character. As far as I know, even though really that's not much, it doesn't really change a whole lot. There is some different dialogue, but like no major difference in terms of how the story plays out. At least that's what I've been told. As I already said, I'm playing this game basically blind. I'm only familiar with the first like 30 minutes. So therefore I'm going to say, well, Screw Anita Sarkeesian, we're going to play Dr. Watts. <laughs> so Dr. Watts played Dr. Watson. Meh. So we have to ask the children to give us a little tour of the house. Well then, let's go downstairs again. Or maybe not yet. Looks like Johnny's doctor wants to talk to us. Let's see what he or she, it's really not that clear, can do for us. Yes, a patient monitor. Yes, every hard monitor has a self-destruct button. It is now activated in menu. We can actually take a look at it. So as you see, the hard monitor is on the top of the screen. 
Ah, now this game is not on a time limit or anything, so I'm not really sure what the significance of the heart monitor is. Now, I'll just assume that it will be revealed throughout the game. Because I doubt that it has, like, no purpose. So that means we are going to see what it is all about. Again, playing this game blind, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. But now let's stop wasting our time and get downstairs. Sadly, we have to... We have to interrupt the children's beautiful, beautiful piano playing. So in case you can't tell, I love this tune. It's just, it's such a, a soothing little melody. Can't help but enjoy it. But sadly, we have to talk to them. I want you to show me around the house. Maybe. A little convincing. <laughs> you punks. Well, I can pay that right out of my purse. That sounds easier. Okay. I say, that sounds pretty doable. Sure, I'll get it for you. We might as well humor them. <laughs> yep. Now the game remembers that it is in fact a game. So we have to do this little fetch quest. There's really not much to it. The candy cane is right in here. But we can't reach it. So what do we do? We make ourselves a step ladder of sorts. For that we use this, I don't know, coffee table? Maybe. Put it in front of the cupboard. Get on it. Take the candy cane. Get down again. See? That was easy enough. Like taking candy from an inanimate baby. Also, it is not really significant to anything, but it's kind of a nice detail. We can turn these lamps on and off. Wow. So let's give it to the kids. Hey there. Yes, it was a... it was an epic quest we... we just solved. And that's what matters. Alright. Hmm. Oh? A funny room. Well, they're sure hyping it up. Mm -hmm. So let's get the key to Johnny's funny room in the basement. Wonder what that could be. Dapper Room. Alright. So let's take a look at the bookshelf. So, what could be here? Dusklight, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when charmed with gentle sunlight. <laughs> Actually, yes, I do want to read a passage. Maybe next time, well, I can't blame him. Indeed he does. Because no one would read such a book on purpose now, wouldn't he? Alright, so let's see if we can take a look into that funny room. No, kids. Hey, did you really do that? Yep, that's the point of a library. I'm sure. 
So now we have the key to the funny room in the basement. I'm sure you're all looking forward to see what is in there. You do that. And I will do that. So I'm sure we're all... That was an accident. We're all eagerly awaiting to see what could be in the funny room. And you know what? We are going to take a look at it. In the next episode. <laughs> For today I'm calling it a day. So as you all know, I'm your German snuff. This is Let's Play To The Moon. And um, I think I'll be seeing you again tomorrow. And until then, everyone have a wonderful evening. And goodbye. <laughs>